Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Friday. Made it through another week here, and it's a beautiful day outside. Sunshine. Uh, cold, though. Only about 10 degrees, so bundle up if you're going out. Or better yet, just find the, find the sunbeam coming into your house and, and uh, curl up into that, right? Like a cat or a dog enjoying the sunbeam. It is another hoodie Friday, so I've got a new hoodie to show you this, this Friday. So here it is. It is uh, kind of an old... Old graphic of uh, Goldie Gopher hockey. And both the Minnesota men's and women's team are doing quite well this year, so go Gophers. Um, check in time. How are you all doing? Pray that you are healthy and safe and well. I'll leave a comment or a question in the section below if you have one. I do have my coffee here in my good morning thoughts of dog mug. So Good morning. Cheers, church. Our devotion today comes from Christ in Our Home. It was written by Pastor Shelley Cunningham, who's a pastor at Zumbro Lutheran Church in Rochester, Minnesota. Also works as manager for Portico, Portico Benefit Services. So, uh, And our scripture reading is Psalm 111. Now, we had that psalm yesterday from the Word in Season, but the, Pastor Shelley has a different focus um, than the author from yesterday's. And Psalm 111, it's also our psalm for this Sunday. We'll use that as the call to worship. So Psalm 111, praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the upright in the congregation. Great are the works of the Lord, studied by all who delight in them. Full of honor and majesty is his work and his righteousness endures forever. He has gained renown by his wonderful deeds. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He provides food for those who fear him. He is ever mindful of his covenant. He has shown his people the power of his works in giving them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever to be performed with faithfulness and uprightness. He sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who practice it have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. And, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> another sip of coffee here. Cheers, church. So the devotion is titled, Dance Away the Blues. And the theme verse is verse 1. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. When my children were younger and occasionally out of sorts, there was one sure way to cheer them up, a dance party. We'd put on their favorite Veggie Tales or Kids Bop CD, turn the lights down low, and jump and shimmy and sing out loud until the crabbiness was gone. What I knew, but they didn't, was that music and movement produce serotonin, the feel-good chemical in the brain. They didn't care. They were having fun. When my faith life gets out of sorts, a good dance party can usually turn it around. I listen to some of my favorite church music, sing as loud as I can, and try to let go of whatever is holding me back from loving God with all my heart and soul and mind and strength. And if you are not a dancer, try reading Psalm 111 out loud with your best dramatic rev it up voice. Uh, maybe even in a British accent. Wouldn't that be fun? There's something about hearing line after line of praise of God's amazing mercy that might spark joy and gratitude in you, too. <laughs> well, I can tell when I'm getting cranky. And I think uh, Jess can tell before I can tell that I'm getting cranky. And as I mentioned in these devos before, I find myself sometimes cranky more often since the whole COVID pandemic began. And I find that my crankiness is sometimes due to a lack of serotonin. Um, so I'll eat something, get my blood sugar up, or I'll put on some fun music, go for a walk. Uh, yeah. So um, when Caleb was growing up and he would get cranky, we'd tell him either eat something or go for a run because you're getting on our nerves. 
and that would that would do the trick. He'd go for a run, or he'd, he'd uh, you know have something to eat, and that would get him out of that. So, uh, what is it that pulls you out of your crankiness? Uh, Pastor Shelley suggests reading this psalm in an overly dramatic voice. Yeah, that'd be fun to try, wouldn't it? Try it. See if it brings joy and gratitude up in you. Also, be of strong heart and good courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. <clears throat> Practice all those safe health practices, washing hands and wearing your masks, keeping physical distance, staying home as much as possible. As the body of Christ in this world, we do these things to share the love of Christ and, and show love for our neighbor. And just as a, as a, a preview here, um, Pastor Shelley mentions, uh, she ta talks about letting go of whatever's holding her back from loving God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. That will be actually the theme of our midweek Lenten services. Uh, Hear, O Israel, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. So uh, something to look forward to for, for Lent. Um, yeah, so let's pray. Lord God, you're the best. We love and praise you with all that we are. Amen. Well, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the worship that will be posted Saturday night. You can enjoy that either Saturday night or Sunday morning. Uh, blessings upon you this day. Blessings upon you this weekend. Peace.